Hello everybody! Hello and welcome to Suncoast Kids! Yes, happy Sunday! Or, hmm, if you're not watching on a Sunday, because maybe you're watching this recorded, happy Monday! Or if you're not watching it on a Monday, then happy Tuesday! Well, maybe they're not watching it on a Tuesday either. They could be watching it on a Wednesday. If you're watching this on a Wednesday, happy Wednesday! Yeah, I think we get the idea. Let's say happy Thursday, Friday, Saturday, just in case. Yes, you're right. <laughs> anyway, today in Sunco's Kids, we are going to look at how God promises to help us in times of trouble. Oh, yes. Do you remember that time when you got into a bit of trouble? Do you remember that? Yeah. Why don't you tell us all about it? Oh, yeah, that's right. When we were dating, ooh, all those years ago, um, and I was driving back from your house, and I was driving along the road, and I came to this roundabout, and it was very late at night time, and I was turning right at this roundabout, and I looked right, because we have to give way to the right on the road, right? And uh, there was nothing coming. There was a blind bend on the left-hand side, and so I pulled out, and... As I pulled out, there was this car that must have been driving really, really fast, and he was flashing his lights and tooting at me, and I was like, oh no, God, help me! And he pulled his car in front of my car, and then he slammed on his brakes, and he got out his car. I was like, oh no, what's he gonna do to me? I was like, God, help me! Anyway, I managed to leave a little bit of space, and he opened his door, he jumped out the car, and I managed to drive around him. And as I was driving around him, I looked in my rear view mirror, I could see him running back to get into his car. And I was like, oh no, I was like, God help me here, I need your help. So anyway, so I'm driving along and now I can see that his car is now speeding behind me and he's flashing his light as if he's tooting his horn. I was like, please God, make the traffic lights be green so I can don't have to stop. And anyway, so I get to the first set of traffic lights and it's green. I was like, yes, thank you God. Get to the second set of traffic lights and it's green. Thank you, Jesus. And get to the third set of traffic lights and it's red. Oh no. And there's three lanes of traffic and I pulled up on the left-hand side lane because that's the lane I needed to be in. And I can see that this car was coming right up. He was about to go in the middle-hand lane. And guess what happened? What happened? This police car came out of a side road and stopped in the middle lane. <gasps> wow. Yes, I was like, thank you, Jesus. So I wound down my window and the police officer could see that I was a little bit distressed. So he wound down his window and said, are you all right? And I said, oh no. And I explained the whole story really quickly to him. And he said, don't worry, you go on home. We'll stop the driver. And that was that. Wow. They put on their blue lights. The lights went green and off I went and they pulled the other driver over. Oh, great. Oh. So you prayed and God helped you out he of trouble. He did, he did. That's amazing. It is amazing. And today we're going to hear about somebody else who God helped when they were in a time of trouble. But first, I have a little would you rather quiz for you. Sounds great to me. Shall we watch it? Yes, roll the VT. Would you rather bungee jump off the highest bridge or ride the tallest roller coaster? Would you rather live in space or live in the jungle? Would you rather spend the night in a pit of snakes or spend the night in a pit of lions? Who in the Bible spent a night in a pit of lions? It was Daniel! And now, it's time for a story. With... Father Michael, Father Michael, Father Michael, Father Michael, Father Michael, Father Michael. Psalms 46, verse 1. God is our refuge and strength. Always ready to help in times of trouble. Hey kids, it's Father Michael here. I want to tell you a story this morning about somebody in the Bible. His name was Daniel. 
Now Daniel lived in a land that was ruled by a king called Darius. Daniel was a friend of Darius, but there were other men around who were jealous of Daniel's friendship with the king. These men came up with a plan to get rid of Daniel. They went to the king and they, they begged him to issue an order that for a whole month, nobody would be able to pray to any other god except the king. And if anyone did, well, they would be thrown into the pit of lions. Your majesty, we beg you, issue an order that for a whole month, nobody is allowed to pray to any god but you. Yes. I shall agree to this decree. Nobody shall worship any god but me, King Darius. Oh, great king, mon ami, sacre bleu, if anybody was to defy your order, we will have to throw them into the pit of the lions. The lion's pit. <laughs> The king agreed to issue the order, but one man and one man alone disobeyed this order, and that was Daniel. Now, Daniel, he admired Darius, but he also knew that Darius, well, he was just a man. So, well, Daniel, he faithfully continued to pray to our true God, as he always had done. Praise the Lord. Yes, praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord now and forever. Everywhere, from east to west, praise the name of the Lord. For the Lord is high above the nations. His glory is higher than the heavens. Thank you, Lord. Now the other men, they went to the king and they said, your Jewish friend Daniel, he's defying you, your majesty. He's ignored your orders and he, he's still praying to his God. Your Jewish friend Daniel, he's defying you, order your majesty. Oh, Charlotte Moose, your majesty. Your friend Daniel ignored your order and he's still praying to his God. Oh, very, very bad person. We will have to deal with him now. Now that news makes me very, very sad. But you're going to have to arrest Daniel. Daniel, my friend, may your God rescue you. So Darius had no choice, but he had to go through with it. Daniel was arrested and he was put into the pit of lions. You know, Darius stayed awake all that night. He was worrying about his friend. And he was certain that his friend would have been eaten. And when he went back the next morning, he looked inside the pit and he shouted. He said, I must, I must look, look inside, inside the pit. pit. Daniel, have you got to rescue you? you? So King Darius had Daniel's accusers arrested and he took back his order and allowed people to pray to God. That's great news, isn't it? Well, I hope you've enjoyed this story today and I hope you realise that God will always, always look after you. His promises are always true and he's faithful, which means he sticks with what he says. Hope to see you soon, guys. This is goodbye from Father Michael. Wow, that's really amazing how God helped Daniel. Absolutely. And you know what? We can ask God for help anytime. Anytime? Absolutely, yes. Three in the morning? If you're awake. Or how about at nine o'clock when I'm eating my shreddies? Yeah, you can. We can talk to God anytime and we can always ask him for help. 
when we're in trouble. Wow, that's really good. It is, because he's promised to help us, always. Well, we have got to say goodbye now, but Aww. we will see you again next Sunday. See you next Sunday. And we hope you have a great week. Bye, everyone. Bye. When we pray, our God hears, sets us free from all our fears.